Hello everyone, welcome to the episode 5 of Learn with Z. Um, I haven't seen you guys for a long time. The pre in the previous episode, I talked about wavelengths, uh, how, why we call it wave, free space, pass loss, and uh, the frequency and wavelengths, their relationship, right? This, this time we will talk about a very classic concept that my professor asked me, but I just didn't answer well. I want to make up for it. It is called Fresno Zone. Uh, it's a French physics name after French physics that's uh, very good at uh, uh, physics and uh, lighting. You know, the um, you can call it Fresno, Fresno, or whatever, right? And what is the Fresno Zone? Um. Consider you have a transceiver, right? Re transmitter and receiver. If they have a fixed distance called D and they have a height. If this is transmitter and this is receiver, the transmitter will have a lot of paths. Which one is the strongest pass? Is it supposed to be the um, line of sight pass? Is this one? This one has the strongest power and fastest arriving time, right? Um, why it is the fast arriving time? Because it has the shortest distance. Therefore, there is a smallest of free space path loss. So at the same time. Um, there will be another pass that's reflected. Although we we already know there is a lot of reflected paths, but this one tend to be the strongest, right? And it is also the shortest. I have already proved why this is shortest in the first episode. You can take a look on that. It's the Feymart related to Feymart um principle. So. Fresno zone means this two this two signal pass signal pass one and signal pass two right they arrived at a different time right because they have different distance for the wave one and draw it like this for the two they started at the same moment, but the two take longer to arrive. So this is T and this is a power, right? How do we how do we draw this number two um, to make sure we are talking about the the two is arriving at the same time. No, no, no. The two is arriving at different time. So obviously the starting point cannot be here because if it's here, it wasn't it, it shouldn't should not be correct because you think about it. Um at a time t This already have and this haven't reached yet. So we can think about in this way. Right? In this way, you, you think about the the one is arriving faster. So the at the receiver its power is getting bigger, faster, sooner, right? And this two starting to get its peak a lot later. So Fresnel zone, Fresnel zone number one, the first Fresnel zone, meaning at the same moment when the receiver received this two signal pass, their power canceled out each other. So that means they have zero power. That's a very serious 
problem, right? Um, what about the second Fresno zone? The the Fresno zone, first, second, third, all depend on the time. If your time happens to cancel all out, we call it first. If the time make sure like this one is arriving at half of the period right half of your t one cycle and this one will have entire t so that makes the next one right so it will double it double the power here okay so you got what i'm basically trying to say so for the first fresno zone the power at the receiver will cancel out at the second the power will double at the third will cancel out at the fourth will double okay so now let's move on to the equation there is an equation from the textbook where we call the Fresnel zone radius r equal how can we uh how can we remember this in a very smart way This is D1, this is D2. And we will have a, a, a R here, calculated based on DR and D. If we consider D1 equal D2 and D1 plus D2 equal the total distance D, this will convert it to N times wavelengths Right, and we cancel one out. This will turn it to n wavelengths d divided by four. From this, what do we what do we can know from? We know two things. We know two things. One thing that the Fresno zones radius is depend on d. The longer the distance, the longer the distance the bigger the r the bigger the r you need to you tend to need to have a higher setup so it won't bounce on the ground say if you don't bounce on the ground that's a good thing that means your power will not get affected right or at a good moment your power will double it based on if uh, if the distance is very appropriate you will have a better power at the receiver so this is the d the bigger the d the bigger the r so we want it to have appropriate d what about the wavelengths wavelengths go up R will go up, right? So what are the practical usage of Fresno zone? Obviously, we know if uh, obviously we know in the first Fresno zone inside of Fres first in Fresno zone, the signal power will be strongest, right? So in this situation, we need to consider what our frequency or what our distance is to determine our coverage. Usually, if our Fresnel zone is good enough, we can have a good coverage. So that's a reason we want to use the Fresnel zone. Calculate it. Thanks for watching.